Now remember, if it's to the left of the number line, it's less than. If it's to the right of the number nine, it's greater than. So negative one is to the right of negative three, so it's greater than. Eight is to the right of negative six on the number line, so it's greater than. Negative five is to the right of negative seven on the number line, so it's greater than. One is less is to the left of three in the number line, so it's less than. Negative eight is to the left, so it's less than, and five is to the left. Now, notice the pattern here. The second column is opposite of the first column, isn't it? I've got the same numbers, but they're just opposite of what they were. And since they're opposite of what they were, notice my inequality flip two. Well, how do I tell when I flip it? Here's what happens. If you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, then you flip it. If it was greater than, it becomes less than, it becomes less than, then it's greater than. But be careful. Just because there's a negative number in the problem doesn't mean you flip it. You have to multiply or divide both sides. So I've got some examples here. Notice I'm dividing both sides by negative 4. I flip it. I'm multiplying both sides by negative 8. I flip it. I multiply both sides by negative 5. I flip it. But notice on this one, we are dividing by a positive. If you divide by a positive, don't flip it. So this one would be incorrect. If you divide by a positive, we keep it the same. Let's take a look at Jada. She's reading approximately one-fourth of a no novel. She's read at least. What does at least mean? At least means greater than or equal to, because she's more than 112 pages. So in other words, I'm going to let, how many pages in the, for the novel? I'm going to let P, that's not, not a very good L, I'm going to let P be the number of pages. So, Jada has one-fourth of the total pages read, and that's greater than or equal to 112. And so, to solve that, what do we do? Well, we multiply by 4. So, if we multiply both sides by 4, <coughs> excuse me, P is greater than or equal to... Let's take 4 times 112, that would be 448. And we get that for an answer. So she's, I could say, and let's write that as a sentence, Jada has read at least... 448 pages. Now on number 5, notice we have a negative. Negative means we're going to flip it. But I've got this fraction, so I'm going to do one step at a time. First, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 because I don't like fractions. And we get negative 2x is less than or equal to 55. Notice, I didn't flip it because I multiplied both sides by 5. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So x, I'm going to flip it, and I'll get a negative, what is that, 27.5, or, or negative 55 over 2. I think 
since we're doing this in the seminar, I'm going to write it as negative 55 over 2. Because what I want to do is I want to graph this on the number line. Since I'm graphing it on the number line, first I'll write in set notation, the set of x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 55 over 2. Now when you graph it on the number line, you need to have negative 55 over 2. If I go to the right, that would be negative 54 over 2, which would be negative 27, wouldn't it? If I go to the left, I'd be at negative 56 over 2, which would be negative 28. But really, all I need to have is negative 55 over 2. The other numbers are nice. And since it's a line, I'm going to put a closed circle on negative 55 over 2. And I'm going to shade that to the right because it's greater than. Notice as long as x is on the left side of your inequality, your inequality points in the direction you're supposed to shade it. If x was on the right side, then we have to do it backwards.